because not everybody that joins us actually knows what this is. And so the goal today with these awesome panelists is really to get back to basics. So when you read the MREA, you're looking at the basics being leads, listings, and leverage, right? And so this month we're highlighting how to utilize leverage. What, what does that mean? It's actually bringing on people to help you to grow your team, right? Leveraging time, resources, systems, tools, models. So as we look at that, um, each of these folks or Allie's getting ready to look at potentially uh, hiring to grow her leverage. But Jackie, what does leverage mean to you? And when did you really start thinking about that? And, and how did you get, you know, what was your thought process in taking that yeah. step? Well, I had leverage in my very first transaction. Thank God, just the Fox was like, no, you need a transaction coordinator right now. <laughs> you know, I did not write a contract. I knew nothing. Like, I got my first listing from a FISBO and uh, looked up my owner and knocked on their door, and I had no sign, no lockbox, nothing. Didn't know how to write a listing agreement, nothing. And she was like, yeah, you need a TC. Here you go. Here's Mary Early, who I love, Mary Early. And she yeah. literally took me for, through my first probably 50 transactions until now we have, you know, someone who does it for our specific our team. But so um, what I, I know what I'm good at and I know what I'm not good at. And in the past and other businesses that I've had, I tried to be all of those things. And Keller Williams has taught me, you know, like where I'm valuable is as a rainmaker and closing. So, and I've also learned that some people can bring business, but not close business. Mm -hmm. And some people cannot bring business, but they can close business. I can bring business and close business, but everything in between there, I shouldn't be doing at all. Um, so, and, and I, it's not that I can't, it's just, I'm not great at it. And it really stresses me out all the compliance and the dot loop and the, you know, all those other things. So um, Xavier, my husband, what he's really great at is bringing referrals. What he's not good at is showing property, writing, you know, he, he won't close anything. And he'll tell you that he'll, he'll be with a buyer for two years. <laughs> and it's like, no, he's also not great at follow-up. I'm great at follow-up. I'm great at bringing the business. I'm great at follow-up. Um, and I have learned now to surround myself with people who are good at the things and love doing the things that I don't really love doing. So, awesome. yeah, that's awesome. Great. The big thing too, like just recently, so, um, I have somebody now who can show properties and who can, she's learning, right. How to be a buyer's agent and I'm shifting to being the team focus and it's very stressful. It's, it's been really, really difficult for me because I know how to make things happen when I take what's coming my way. And now it's like things are slowing down because I'm taking my focus off of that and I'm working on building the pipeline of listings and it's really scary. And so it's like, but I know that's the direction I need to go. So sometimes leverage is hard at first to actually make that shift because you don't get, you don't see immediate results. Yeah, I was gonna Absolutely. do something. I guess you're looking yeah. at yeah. Yeah. Well, and growth happens when you're uncomfortable. Oh, so you might yeah, I was on yeah. literally bawling my eyes out with my coach this morning. So like it's it's tough, but when you like I see what you're doing, and I saw also there was a, uh, another agent who shared that she got awarded at the MREA um as a single agent, and I was like, dang it. Like, this is what I'm doing, you know, this is what I want. And then they're just 